have uh, several native species around my garden. That is a good thing to do wherever you live in the world. It is a sure thing. They will perform well as they are at home. In my case, using native species is mainly a water saving strategy. It does not rain much in my area during uh, the fall and winter and usually not at all during the summer. Take this plant for instance. She likes humidity, but if the water is scarce, she will thrive well anyway, maybe with just a few drying leaf tips. This plant is Iris fetidissima, commonly named sticking iris or roast beef plant, among other names. Some say that it stinks and that the crushed leaves smell like roast beef. I do not sense that type of smell at all, even after crushing the leaves, which I have tried before. This plant is a native in my area, and uh, it uh, might be native in your area too, because its natural range is Western Europe and North Africa. It is found in open woodland, edge banks and sea cliffs. The strappy and the glossy rich green leaves form quite nice tufts all year round. This is a shade loving plant. It has dull flowers, small and pale. They are very light yellow, tinged with light blue or lavender. They do not last long because they attract lots of insects and get pollinated quite fast. They are followed by large pods opening to show bright orange red seeds, which persist through winter. They are the main interest in this species. I have several of these plants. They spread easy by rhizomes or by seed. They are now in bloom in my garden, but soon the ovaries will start swelling and by late autumn they will burst into color. The seeds germinate quite fast. They have uh, also the tendency to get trapped in the stones that cover the ground. And uh, then lots of new plants sprout. I have to take them away, <laughs> most of them, for as much as it costs me, uh, I cannot let uh, all of them grow. I plant uh, these uh, in other places of the garden or I give them to friends and uh, ultimately they go into the compost bin. This is how Iris Fetidissima looks like from October to January. They are in full fruit production. Isn't that beautiful? However, the beauty of these colors are not meant to please us humans. <laughs> this is a strategy the plant uses to expand and establish colonies in other places. Uh, that is, the color of the fruit is meant to attract birds. Not many birds come to get them though, because they are not very fleshy. I mean, the fruits are not very fleshy and uh, therefore have not much to eat and the birds know it. But uh, once in a while, a younger uh, bird and uh, less experienced comes and takes the seed, although it will drop it soon after when he realizes that he has been fooled. But then the seed has been taken away a few meters, accomplishing the plant's purpose. Anyway, this plant does not depend only on seeds. They also spread by rhizomes. Well, this is it. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to be seeing you in the next one. Bye!